This video is converting between grams and moles part two. I'm gonna do a couple more practice problems on this stuff. If you haven't yet seen the first video, you might wanna go check that out first and then come back and watch this. What is the mass in grams of 0 0.850 moles of sulfur dioxide? Okay, moles and grams, the first thing you should think of is what is the molar mass of SO2, okay? I've got sulfur and I've got oxygen in here. So I look them both up on the periodic table. Here are their molar masses. And now I add these together. I have one sulfur here, so I do one times this number, but I've got two oxygens, right? I got this O2 here. I got two oxygens, so I do two times the molar mass of oxygen. Add these together and I get this, which tells me that the molar mass of sulfur dioxide, SO2, is 64.07 grams per mole which means that one mole of SO2 weighs 64.07 grams. So now we can think through it, okay? If we had one mole of SO2, it would weigh 64.07 grams. If I had two moles of SO2, I do two times this number, which is how much one mole would weigh, and I'd get this, okay? I don't have one mole, I don't have two moles, I have 0 0.850 moles, which is actually less than one mole. Okay, so in grams, I'm gonna be getting a number that's smaller than this because I have less than one mole. But the math I'm gonna be doing is exactly the same, okay? I know how much one mole weighs, so I'm gonna take this amount and I'm just gonna multiply it by the number of moles that I have, which is 0 0.850. Do this math and I get 54.5 grams, which as we predicted, is less than the amount that one mole weighs. Even though this number is less than one mole, the math that we're doing though is exactly the same, okay? We're going from moles to grams, so we multiply moles by the molar mass, and this is what I get. Now for the conversion factor. 0 0.850 moles of SO2. Multiply it by a conversion factor made from this molar mass information. I'm going to use this one here because it puts moles SO2 on the bottom. They're on the top here. Cancel, cancel, keep this. Go through doing the math. This times this divided by this. And I got, as I got up here, 54.5 grams SO2. And the math is exactly the same for this as it was for this because dividing by one here doesn't change the value. All I'm doing is multiplying moles by molar mass to go from moles to grams. One more, last question. How many moles are in 32.7 grams of ethanol? Okay, first question, how much does one mole of ethanol weigh? What's the molar mass? It's made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So I look all three of them up on the periodic table and I add their molar masses together depending on how many of each I have, okay? I've got C2, so I've got two carbons, two times this. I've got six hydrogens, so I do six times this. And I've got just one oxygen, so I do just one times this. And I get, ah, uh, and I get this is my number, 46.08, which tells us that the molar mass of C2H6O is 46.08 grams per mole, which means that one mole of C2H6O ethanol weighs 46.08 grams. I have a certain number of grams. I wanna know how many moles that is, okay? Well, if I had 46.08 grams, I know that I'd have one mole. If I had 92.16 grams, for example, well, that's more than this. I wanna know how many times does this number go into this? How many times could this fit into this? So to figure that out, I would divide by this number and I'd get two moles. It turns out this is exactly double. Now, the number of grams that I have is 32.7, which is actually less than the number of grams that's in just one mole. So the number that I'm gonna end up with is gonna be less than one mole, but the math is exactly the same. How many times does this number go into this number? That's what I wanna find out. So I'm gonna take this number, I'm gonna divide it by the molar mass by this. I wanna find out how many of these fit into this. It's gonna be less than one. I do this division and I get 0 0.710 moles, right? Less than one mole because this number here is less than how much one mole weighs. Even though I get this answer that's less than one and this was less than the amount that one mole weighs, 
the math I'm doing is always the same when I go from grams to moles. I divide grams by the molar mass, which is what I'm doing in all of these examples right here. And finally, for the conversion factor, 32.7 grams C2H6O multiplied by a conversion factor based on this molar mass information. I want grams of C2H6O on the bottom. So one mole of C2H6O is gonna be on the top. This cancels out. This cancels out, leaves me with moles of ethanol here. And the math is this times one divided by this 0 0.710 moles of C2H6O. And I will point out once again that the math for the conversion factor is exactly the same as the math for the thinking it through method because multiplying 32.7 by one doesn't change it. So all we're really doing is 32.7 divided by 46.08. So, that is how we convert back and forth between moles and grams.